21 hours. 20 some hours. 10 to maybe 20 hours per week on the internet. At least eight hours or something a day. Carter G. Woodson, a famous African-American educator once said, the mere imparting of information is not education. Woodson also said, when you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. Though I wouldn't say that I'm like, like an expert in movies, but I do consume a lot, a lot of movies and I'm inspired by them. Definitely love movies and I love studying them. I just like to watch movies, honestly. It was Andy Warhol who stated, it's the movies that have really been running things in America ever since they were invented. They show you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, how to feel about it, and how to look how you feel about it. The power of media has not been lost on military forces worldwide, with perception management campaigns now a routine part of military planning and operations. Likewise, civilian media campaigns are based less on what is true or what is not true, and more on how to gain the strategic advantage. The casualty of all this is the truth. The result of all this is a badly divided civilian government. During the 2016 presidential campaign so far, one candidate stands out above all the others for his willingness to distort the truth. And, the thing, and, and he just says a lot of stuff that is not true about, you know, the Muslims in New Jersey, you know, clapping their hands and yeah. praising when the Twin Towers, when the towers fell. Historically, demagogues have risen to power by inspiring fear of the other. This xenophobic fear was at the heart of the Barack Obama birth certificate controversy. When asked what the biggest myth of our time was, our respondents provided differing responses, but with a common underlying theme. This xenophobic a attitude that we have towards people who aren't American. The biggest myth would probably have to be with the Muslim culture. The biggest myth of our time has to be that all people of color, brown, black, Asian, uh, Muslim, all people, all minorities are bad and that there are some good ones. It um, distorts the thinking, the thought process of the average citizen. That all black men are thugs. That is the biggest myth of our time. And it is beyond my wildest imagination been a serious damage to our society.